grace and peace as this week we talk about being chosen. So scripturally, we're referring, of course, to that distinction of being uh, a holy priesthood, a royal nation, chosen. But that's kind of a dubious distinction and um, in conversation and in a lot of articles, what I've heard is, you know, we're kind of ambivalent about this interesting distinction. But why we have it will remain a mystery, and there it is. Because while being chosen, next we hear that God says things like, these are stiff-necked people and they're no more righteous or deserving than any other people. Well, yeah. And the prophet Amos, we hear Amos say, true, I brought you from the land of Egypt, but also the Philistines, Amos 9, 7. So what a fascinating comparison, right? To be brought by God, oh, you know, just like God brought the enemies. Chosenness. What does it mean to be chosen? Well, chosenness is not really about merit. Chosenness is about responsibility. So when you are chosen, if we're talking about the Jewish people, but if we're talking about what it means to understand that you are being chosen for something. This is not like, <clears throat> I've been chosen, look at me. This is kind of like, oh, he chose me to do the dishes. Okay. It's responsibility. So chosenness. Hmm. Over the years, centuries, it's invited a lot of mockery. You'll have to remember that for Jesus, the Romans really derided him. They forced him to wear a crown of thorns because he was chosen. And we understand the journey of a people who have been chosen. So while we might simply have to leave what we're gonna call chosenness as holy mystery, what we can see is that in this chosenness, we have an understanding that there is nothing more special, more amazing, or different. It's just that through being chosen, we can see everyone else as well. It is an understanding an understanding that there is a global family and we are responsible. The chosenness makes us responsible. So we have to strive to be worthy if we are told that somehow we are chosen to be one of God's people. May we sit with this and some of the other pieces we'll learn throughout the week, striving to be worthy of our chosenness.